What is good, everybody? It is your boy, Pat the Designer, back at it again. Question on the table today. Did the Chicago Bears improve their wide receiver room by signing Equinamia St. Brown and Byron Pringle? Let's talk about it, starting now. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page because we do talk Chicago sports daily on this channel. Almost said weekly, but we're doing it daily. We don't want y'all to miss a thing, man, so make sure that y'all hit that bell. Remember, this is the only channel that's talking Chicago sports, how Chicago talks. So make sure that you get in tune with us, man. Uh, Bears make a couple of signings today, a couple of signings that I think do put them in a new direction. You're trying to rebuild out your wide receiver room. But the question on the table is, did the Chicago Bears improve their wide receiver room with the signings they made today? They signed Equinamia St. Brown, former Green Bay Packer from last season. He's been with them for about three seasons. And they signed Byron Pringle, who's been with the Kansas City Chiefs for the same amount of time. And here's the thing, right? Looking at each of these guys, they were guys who were a part of the system, but were not heavily looked upon. Now, Equinamia St. Brown only played in 13 games last season, uh, only uh, only starting two of those. Uh, so his numbers look a little bit more skewed. Uh, uh, but looking at both of these guys, right? In Byron Pringle and in Equinamia St. Brown, they, they both look like guys to me who were very far down on the wide receiver option on where or on on where they were going to be targeted right like they they were never the number one option they were never the number two option heck more times than not they probably weren't even the number three option on the wide receiving cores that they were a part of and with equinamia st brown right on the packers side that's a little bit more concerning also you have to look at injury as well but the fact that he wasn't a part of it on the wide receiver side for me he's kind of a depth piece somebody who already understands the system somebody who who can come in there and work with luke getsy and already understands it now can he be more than that uh, when I'm looking at his game, right, he got targeted 17 times last season. He caught nine of those. Good percentage. So about a 52% catch success rate from him. Um, so kind of nothing, oh my God, with Economia St. Brown, right? He was he was a option that was very far down, wasn't as didn't play a ton. And to me, right, like they were begging for somebody to be a number two on that team. They were begging for somebody to take that spot that Marco Valdez Scantling uh, 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 didn't fill, which is the reason that he's a free agent as well. They were begging for somebody to pick that up. So this is kind of a move to me where you have somebody who already understands what Lou Getze wants to run. Maybe he can have a little bit bigger of a role. You hope that he can catch the ball a little bit better here, but we haven't seen him really have that kind of high success rate on the field consistently. He's only caught one touch down in his entire career and that was last se or two seasons ago and to me like he he's a guy that you come in because you you want to help help kind of bob and weave everybody else into the system and, and having people that understand it having people in the room that already understand what's going on makes it better now on the other side of things though for me byron pringle is a very interesting name because kind of getting more opportunity last season and when more opportunity came his way he did more with it his first two seasons he had a combined 33 targets and came away with 25 of those pretty good catch rate or pretty good catch success uh, uh, uh ratio for him in those first two seasons and in season three in 2021 last season he gets his best option he plays in 17 games starts five of those games gets 60 targets comes away with 42 of them here's the interesting thing right his yards per catch is what you have to look at because we were looking at those guys that were the big yard per catch guys we we're looking at those guys that were the hey who's gonna be that guy that's the deep threat who's gonna be that guy that has the sure hands who's going to be that guy that's able to come away with the football more times than not i think that byron P pringle can be that level of guy i think that byron pringle can be that level of player now i don't know if he comes here and he's your number one but at a minimum right he's that guy that can take the top off the defense and comes to you with a little bit of size on him 6'1 201 pounds got good hands got good feet able to make a play 
and able to get down the field. Now, I'm not overselling these guys, right? I'm not saying that these are your next wide receivers of the future, but these are guys, uh, at least in, in, in Byron Pringle, who, when given opportunity from Patrick Mahomes, made something successful happen. He had five touchdowns last season. Uh, he, he, he caught about for 568 yards last season. Like I said, yards per catch, 13 and a half yards per catch. And he, he was somebody who caught the ball at a 70% rate last season and so to me like that means that when he was given opportunity he was able to do more with it does that mean that he comes into chicago and he's your number one wide receiver i hope that that's not the path that we're looking to go down here you know what i'm saying i hope that that's not where this thing ends up but to me like he's somebody that you can look at and say hey i know that at a minimum he can be a nice little piece for justin fields to go to on a consistent basis now when you ask the question right oh now, before I continue with the video, I want to know how you guys feel. Let me know in the comments below as well. Did the Chicago Bears improve their wide receiver room by making these two signings today? I'll be down there talking with you as well. Here's the thing, right? To answer the question of did they improve their wide receiver room, you have to look at what was let go. You lost Jakeem Grant. You lost Allen Robinson. And you're looking at that and you're saying, I don't know if they improved it. Like, Allen Robinson is going over to L.A. He's absolutely going to do a great job out there. We know what kind of wide receiver Allen Robinson is when you're getting the ball into his hands. But I think that that's the biggest thing. They weren't getting the ball to Allen Robinson. Justin Fields wasn't getting the ball to Allen. Justin Fields wasn't getting the ball to Jakeem Grant, whether that was the scheme, whether that was whatever it was. But you know that these guys coming in now have an understanding already, at least in Equinamia St. Brown, that he's going to be able to come in and instantly understand and what the system is. He's going to be able to work with Justin. He's going to be able to try and get on a, a good page with Justin. So he's somebody that can have an instant impact for you. Byron Pringle has shown that he is somebody who, if you get the ball in his direction, he can come down with it. And so he's somebody that I think is going to have a good impact on the Bears as well. So it, it's tough to say, like, did they improve? I would say, right, because I'm going to say yes, right? But it's for the reason that you didn't use the guys that you could have utilized to make that team better last season right like i'm not coming in here and saying that either of these guys are better wide receiver than Allen robinson at all so you did but you didn't use the guys that you could have utilized last season that could have done a lot for you and so in this you know that at a minimum right these guys are coming in these are going to be guys that justin fields is going to be looking to alongside darnell mooney and you have to look at that as well right byron pringle's never been given the opportunity to come in and essentially be a number two he now has that opportunity here guess what you have that opportunity while standing next to darnell mooney who's going to be a guy that's going to come down with the football and it's probably going to be it's looking like he's going to end up being our number one right so that's going to be interesting in itself but to me like I, I I look at this as how do you improve when the focus is more on you but you're getting more opportunity you're getting more targets you're getting more chances to make big plays and when he was given the shot to make big plays he was somebody that could real shifty guy i'm talking about byron pringle here real shifty guy a guy that absolutely could break down defenses a guy that absolutely was able to go up and make some tough catches that's what you needed in this offense so it's going to be interesting to see kind of what the bears do with byron pringle in the in the system i think he's the bigger signing that uh uh, out of anybody to me than uh, 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 Equinamia St. Brown was. But we're going to see how this all plays out. And the, like I said, the only reason I, I, I'm going to say that the Bears improved their wide receiver room is because I don't believe that they were utilizing the people that were there the right way anyway. So to me, no, you didn't get a better wide receiver in here, but I believe you have people that you're going to use in this system and are going to be used to help to, to Justin's uh, 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 benefit. So. I want to know how you guys feel. Let me know in the comments below as well. I'll be down there talking with you guys in the comments. I'm sure there's going to be somebody that's like, you're an idiot. Can't believe you would say that. Shout out to y'all, man. Uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in and rocking with us for another vid. We'll be live for the Daily Show like we always are from 11 to 1, Monday through Friday. Make sure you guys tune in with us for that for more Bears talk as well. As always, it's your boy, Pat the Designer, back at it again to continue watching our Bears content. Click the links on the screen or check the links in the description below. Hey, Chicago, y'all stay safe out there, man. Peace.